in Toronto and, and his camp is putting out also to let people know, hey, don't be leaking anything that could cost you you getting Kawhi Leonard. So uh, everything has really been tight lip uh, on this. And, and I'm going to go, I'm going to stick to my guns and what I always said, and I'm going to stay with it. Book it. Kawhi is going to stay in Toronto. There's a rumor out there that, you know, he'll sign a two-year deal with the Raptors, which makes sense because it's just like, I give you two years, and then I, if it doesn't work out, I go right back out there, and, and I'll be, you know, the the number one free agent. Uh, I can go to a team still. I could still go to L.A. LeBron will be on his last year of his contract. I come in there. I be the man. It's me and Anthony Davis. I still could play for the Lakers, uh, or, or he could still play for the Clippers. I, it makes sense to me. He went to, I'm just saying, he went to Toronto, obviously because he got traded, and I think he really did fall in love with the city. I think he in, uh, enjoyed his stay with the organization. He enjoyed his teammates, and, and and they changed his mind just a little bit to where it wasn't just going back to California and playing basketball, and I still think that and the fans and everything that I've been talking about in the past, as far as why Kawhi is going to stay, I've been talking about it for months, saying that he's not going to go anywhere. I think that is why he still will going is going to stay, and we'll find out pretty soon. So if it is tomorrow, we'll find out uh, that if I'm right or not. But yeah, book it. Kawhi's not going anywhere, man. He, he, he. you know so. I just, you got to give it another run. You got to give it another shot to see what you can do in the East. You got the pieces, you know, around you. You got the development that is happening around you in Siakam. You got a, a general manager, president of basketball operations in Masai Ujiri. I mean, you have a bunch of plate pieces in place to try and make another run. And, and, I was reading this somewhere and they, and, you are the face of a country, not a city, not a state, not a district, not a region. You are not a, na- a local neighborhood superstar. You are a face on a country. Do you know Kawhi Leonard is probably bigger than Drake right now? Drake, we're talking about Drake Aubrey, his government name. If he's not greater than them, he's he's right up there with them. I can't make this up. They love it. Plant Man is out there giving plants to, to Kawhi. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to, you know, YouTube it. But, yeah, I don't think he's going anywhere. I think he's going to stay right there uh, in Toronto and, and give it another go at least, you know, for a year or two and see, see what happens. So that's just my opinion. We'll see, you know, what happens with that. Uh, another thing that is is very surprising, you listen to the Wait a Minute show, uh, which man, Jelani J.B. Bodie, is uh, Boogie Cousins. And, and Boogie has um, switched agents because he has not found himself a um, team as of yet. So it's just like, what is going on, you know, with Boogie Cousins? Do, do we know uh, is something out there? Is something missing? Why, why is he still on the market well i tell you why uh in just a moment we're going to take a break and then when we come back from the break we'll finish this discussion about boogie cousins we'll get into some other talk uh and i'll get into some of your comments on the chat line as well it's the wait a minute show we'll be back after these words Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Vince Wright, the Sports Governor, and you know me from the Sports Done Right Show. But when I'm not doing Sports Done Right, I'm in the Executive Mansion chilling with the Wait a Minute Show. That's right, Jelani Lopan. Indeed. Keep it tuned here, y'all. The Wait a Minute Show. My name is Vince Wright, and I approve this message. Attention, all sports fans. If you're someone who wakes up each morning with list of sporting events to go along with your to-do list for the day, then you just might be a diehard. The world of sports is as vast as the ocean is deep, including the major leagues, the minor leagues, the colleagues, and everything in between. This is me, your boy Larry B of IE Sports Radio, welcoming you to join me every Monday evening at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern on The Defining Moment, a show that focuses on what really matters in the sports world. 
sports themselves and nothing outside of them. Once again, tune in for the defining moment with me and Boy Larrabee every Monday evening at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern on IE Sports Radio right here on Spreaker.com. We'll see you there. Being good at life means getting your finances together so you can focus on the moments that matter most. With over 170 years of expertise, New York Life Insurance Company provides you with benefits you can enjoy while you're, well, living. So give me, Doug Stewart, your local New York Life agent, a call. I can help you build a solid financial future to help you and your family be good at life. You can reach me at 678-770-8073 or look for me at newyorklife.com. Do you want your next Atlanta event to be memorable? If so, have Drink and Color at your next function. Drink and Color is sophisticated bartending that creates signature cocktails for your special occasion. While your family, friends, and business associates next time with Drink and Color. You can contact the owner, Kiki Lewis, at 678-813-7102. That's 678-813-7102. You can also email her at drinkandcolor at gmail.com and follow on Instagram at drinkandcolor. And tell her you to refer by the Wait a Minute Show. Drink and Color, cocktail catering. Let the cocktail sparkle at your next event. This is Girly Girl. Join me every Sunday at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Girly Girl's World for intriguing conversation and relevant topics. Girly Girl's Girl's World World. for the women on the go and the men who want to know. Girly Girl's Girly Girl's World, Sundays at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are back and you are listening to... It's the Wait a Minute Show. On x Radio Network. I'll say it again. Uh, make sure you are tuning in uh, to Women Crush Wednesday. On before me from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on x Radio Network with Tori Grace. Uh, Women Crush Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with X Squad Radio Network. Uh, I'm telling you, X Squad, you know, plethora, plethora of shows, plethora of shows and new shows being added all the time. So, uh, also, TDSS is five, all, 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 all October. Let me get that out <laughs> if I can say it. October 18, 19, and 20. Do not forget that as well here in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, and we'll be having a good time. Lopan might be there. Indeed. Lopan, you think, I think you need to show up. I really do. You know, people keep asking me, where's Lopan? Indeed. Have you seen Lopan? Indeed. When is Lopan going to show up? Indeed. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't care. Lopan is not my child. So, Lopan, you need to start making these appearances, bro. Indeed. Yeah, so make sure you're there. Uh, you know, and it's always the ladies for some reason. Why is the ladies always asking, Lopan? Indeed. Ah, I, when you put it that way, okay, it all makes sense. Okay, yeah, I, I, I should have known. My bad. My bad, Lopan. But, yeah, ladies love low pan. Uh, I say ladies love low pan. Indeed. Okay. Jeez, low pan, I set you up. Man, you're supposed to knock them down. Gosh. Now, we're back. You know, we're talking about, you know, before the break, we were talking about Boogie Cousins. So, uh, Boogie Cousins uh, is still out there on the market. Uh, last team he was rumored to possibly uh, be with was the Dallas Mavericks. Dallas Mavericks have um, withdrew interest in one DeMarcus Cousins and it is it it is bad right now you know for DeMarcus Cousins and and I have no unearthly idea why it is I mean the, the, is it the injury is it the Achilles injury has it slowed him down uh has it made him look different from what teams uh really thought that they could get to to the point to where they're saying that there pretty much aren't any interest. Now, and of course, I know if, if he comes down off of his price, 
then people will will make the phone call. So I really think this is possibly about what DeMarco's cousin is, is probably asking for, and teams don't want to pay for that uh, at this point. But he has switched agents, and, and he has moved on to a new agent. And, and normally, when something like that happens, especially during a free agent period time where you're trying to get paid, you're trying to find uh, employment, and now you're moving with someone else to take over from where your agent left off. No one's knocking at the door. I guess that is what I'm getting at. That's that's what I'm taking from it, is that he needs to get an agent that is out there that's going to be able to get a foot in the door and get one of these teams to offer him some type of, of money because it won't be a max deal. We already know that. He took uh, the exception, I think the veterans minimum or whatever you might call it last year at $5.3 million. So obviously he's going to be looking you know, uh, for more than that. But there, there's rumor now that he could end up in Atlanta uh, among other teams out there. In Atlanta, they're they're rebuilding, so I know he doesn't want to do that. I'm sure he wants to be uh, with with a, a team that's in competition, but it's just amazing in, in, in two years that that Achilles injury injury I think changed everything you know for him and and teams are gonna lowball him because they know they can. There are no suitors out there for Demarcus Cousins right now. And, and he's going to have to take another deal that he doesn't want to take. Uh, and, and it's going to be a prove-it deal. And, and and at this point, this is a little bit different. You know, unless he can come back and be somewhat of that old Boogie Cousins. But if he's not putting up 20 and, and double-digit rebounds, then teams tend to, you know, go in a different direction. Maybe not cater to you as much. And, and and DeMarcus didn't have anything, you know, that happened last year or, I mean, this past season that, that you would think that he's, I think some people have, you know, probably has categorized him as a problem at times. But I think he might have been able to move on, you know, from, from that title or that tag. But I just think really this is a business move of, of owners and GMs and everything is that we're not going to pay him. We're not going to pay him. We're going to lowball him. We're going to get him to take something because he's going to have to accept the money, especially with the money running out. Now, his only hope is, though, is for, let's say I'm right, and Toronto gets Kawhi. Then that means the Clippers and the Lakers, they have some money sitting there for him to uh, actually partake in. So he, he there is still hope, but I think he needs I think he needs Kawhi to go to Toronto because if Kawhi doesn't go to Toronto then and he goes to LA or 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 uh the Clippers or the Lakers, I should say cuz both of them are in LA. But if he goes to the Clippers or the Lakers, that that takes away two teams. Versus if he goes to to uh, if Kawhi goes to stays in Toronto and that gives Boogie Cousin two teams to possibly find employment with, but it's amazing what happens, you know, in a matter of a couple of months. Boogie Cousins uh, seems like no one wants him uh, at this point. Speaking of no one wanting someone, this has made a, another appearance before back in the football season. Uh, and we're switching over to football right now. It's the Wait a Minute Show with your man, Jelani J.B. Bodie. But uh, Hugh Jackson, former head coach of the Cleveland Browns, uh, he is in the news again because uh, David Njoku, who is a, uh, currently playing for the Cleveland Browns at the tight end position, uh, who went to the U. I just shouted that out for Mocha Bella, But he was talking about how the players – didn't appreciate the, some of the comments that Hugh Jackson was making uh, after he departed from the team. And, you know, they were saying that he was blaming other people for the reason of him getting fired. Then he goes to a uh, basically uh, right across the, uh, the state 
if you will, to a rival team in the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, he had been there before.